In this video, we are going to replicate yet another example from the Deep Learning for J examples package. We will replicate the regression sum.java example. The objective is to train a machine to guess the sum of two numbers. The basic algorithm goes as follows. We're going to first create a data set that contains 1000 samples of two values and their sums, x and y and their sums. Then we're going to build a very simple one layer neural network, train the network, and after training, we will create some unseen data and then test the network and see how well it performs. So let's start our work. Here's the NIME analytics platform. I'll start with a new project. I'll call it regression sum. And the first thing I need to do is create a table. And in the table, I need to have three columns. The first column I'll call it X, which will carry double values. The second column I'll call it Y, which will also carry a double value. And the, just a moment, yeah. Y, which carries the value double. And the third, I'll call it sum which will also carry double values and my table is ready. If I execute, I'll get a small warning saying that the node created an empty table. That's fine. That is what I want. Next, we need to add some empty rows. So I'm going to use the empty rows, add empty rows component and let's configure it. And I need to add 1000 no uh, empty rows and uh, we'll just fill them with zeros for the time being. Let's execute this node and as we can see our table is filled with zeros and we have 1000 rows. Next I need to fill this table so I'm going to use a Java snippet and I'm going to write a uh, some Java code which is going to randomly fill the rows or the columns X and Y and the sum of those values in the column sum. So for random values I need to import um, java.util.random and I need to instantiate a random va uh, value generator so I'm going to write new random and um, um, let's assume that um, exactly uh, similar to the uh, example in uh, deep learning for j we're going to use maximum values and minimum values uh, uh, between which the, um, the 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 random values are generated so i'll define minimum range to be zero and maximum range to be and let me define x and y as double values and let's do the computation. So I want my x to be between the range, of course randomly, so I'll just copy and paste this code. Um, uh, this code is going to make sure that we have a random value between the minimum range which is 0 and the maximum range which is 3. Now the same thing we're going to do for y, I'm going to paste uh, this expression same way. Now I need to now I need to put these values, the x value and the y value, in the columns of x and y respectively. So so I'm going to add an output field and it's double and I'm going to put the value x in it. Again over here I'm going to add another output field and this time is for y. I'm going to replace y with a double value and then the y is going to con contain the value which is in the variable y and the third output field is the sum output field which I'm going to write a double value into and it's going to contain the value x plus y. With this my Java snippet node is ready so let me execute and check the table and there you go when we've got 
uh, random values and the sum of these random values available in this table. Now that the data is ready, I'm going to put these aside and start building the network. And according to the algorithm, we need to build a network with one layer only. Let's do that. So I'm going to go to Nine Labs, Deep Learning, and um, initiate or initialize the Deep Learning for J. And then we're going to add a single layer. Let's configure the layer. I want, according to the example um, in Deep Learning for J, they used 10 nodes, so we're going to use 10 nodes. I am going to change the learning rate to 0 0.01 and change the activation function to tan hyperbolic. And there you go, our network is ready. Next, according to the algorithm, we're going to train the network using the model that we have and the data that we created. Let's do that. So in the learner under supervised, because this is a regression example, we're going to use the regression learner. I'll connect, I'll connect the, the model and the data. And now let's do the configuration. I'm going to leave many of the um, parameters unchanged. I'll change the random seed to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to be consistent with the example. Um, I'm not going to uh, change any global parameters. For data parameters, let's change the batch size to 100 and the epochs to 200 to be consistent with the example. And for the output layer, Again, I'm going to use the, my magic number uh, for learning rate, which is 0 0.01. And I'll leave the loss function to be mean squared error, but initialization will choose the identity. The last thing we need to do is configure the target column selection and the features. So our target is sum, and our features are the X and the Y. And there you go. Our learner is ready. All we need to do is execute it. So let's do the execution. And we can monitor the performance of our learning process. And this learning process was very short. We only had 200 epochs and the network was very small. But the, uh, the loss or the, uh, the, the loss value is very interesting. 3.8 uh, multiplied by 10 to the minus 4, which is pretty good. Now, in order to test how well our network uh, behaves, we need to create some test data. So I'm going to copy the table creator, paste it over here, and do a simple modification. I'm going to delete this column. I don't need it. And I'm going to add some test values. So for example, 1.124x, uh, 0 0.25 for the y, and uh, say 1 and 1 and uh, say 2.1 and 2.9 and let's see how the network is going to guess it guess the, the sums and in order to guess we need a predictor so i'm going to drag and drop the feed forward predictor for regression connect the model connect the test data and execute once the execution is done let's look at the the table and as you can see, the sums are very close to what it should be. Now, remember that if we go back to the Java snippet, remember that our maximum range was three and our minimum range was zero. So this network is trained to some numbers between zero and three. And of course, as, as you may have already guessed, if we give it any number or values outside the range, say for example 10 and 11, and ask it and ask it to predict, we are pretty sure that it's not going to guess very well. So there you go. 
We have replicated the regression sum example that comes from the Deep Learning for J example uh, package. And we've seen how we can build a very simple uh, and small network that can guess the sum of two numbers.